Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a space shooter game in Scratch. This is the part 1 of the tutorial. So now, let's get started. So these are the costumes I will be using in my project. This took me a lot of while to design and edit. So don't forget to give me credit if you use them from the link in the description. Now I have many costumes of the background sprite so as to create an animation of a scrolling effect which we will do in the later coding part of this background. So now let's start with the coding. So let's start with the spaceship sprite. When the flag is clicked, motions, go to x0 and y0. Now I want the y position to be fixed to the bottom of the screen that is y minus 90. Now a default direction when we start the project. I want it to be 0 that means pointing towards the upward side. So from motions we will take the block, point change direction 0. Now we will create a new variable called speed. OK. And in the beginning, when the flag is clicked, set speed to 0. Now another code block, when the flag is clicked, for revel loop, we will go to motions and take the block, change x by speed. So whatever the value of speed variable may be, that would be adapted by the change x block. When the flag is clicked, forever loop, if else, if, key right arrow pressed, that means when we want to move towards the right, set speed to positive 5. Duplicate this and change the values if key left arrow pressed for moving towards the left set speed to negative 5 now if we test this we can move but we have a problem we need to stop so we'll add some more code when the flag is clicked forever loop f block and now we'll take a few blocks from the operators and put them in the each cell If not speed equals to 0 and speed less than 0. So I'll just change it to less than instead of equals to. So if not speed equals to 0 and speed less than 0 then change speed by 0 0.1. Now we'll duplicate this. If not speed equals to 0 and speed bigger than 0, then change speed by negative 0.1. Now the first set of code was acting like an opposite force when we move towards the left so as to stop. And the second code set acts as an opposing force when we are moving towards the right so as to stop. Also, this code that we did right now will create a soothing effect. Let me just show you the preview. First, let's add the block if an edge bounce so as to make sure the spaceship doesn't go out of the screen. Now let's test this out. So as you can see, we have some smooth movements of the spaceship. But again, we have a problem. Due to irregular movements in the spaceship, if in the speed variable, the spaceship is set to minus 0.1. So now we need to fix this. 
change the negligible values to zero directly. Now we'll attach in this code if speed bigger than negative 0.2 set speed to zero and the same when we are moving right if speed less than 0.2 that is positive 0.2 set speed to zero again so it will change these negligible values to zero in Now there are no irregularities in the increase or decrease in the values so that it can stop. Now a spaceship moves smoothly on the screen. And now we want it to point in a certain direction that is the mouse pointer. So when the flag is clicked forever change x by speed point towards mouse pointer and as you can see the spaceship points towards the mouse pointer now I want to add a new animation effect to the sprite that is for the spaceship propulsion or you can call it the fiery trail when it flickers when the flag is clicked forever We'll go to looks and switch costume according to whatever costume you have chosen. And then we'll set the FPS, wait for 0.01 or 0.07, whatever suits you. Switch back. So this was just an animation as you can see in the preview. So the fiery trail flickers and we can move left and right smoothly. And also the spaceship points towards the mouse pointer. Now we want to add a shooter which will follow wherever the spaceship goes and point wherever the spaceship points. And of course shoot lasers. In the shooter sprite, when the flag is clicked, switch costume to costume number 1. So I'm gonna add a little bit of animation in here. Forever loop. We'll go to motions and take the block, point towards mouse pointer and go to the spaceship instead of random position. So it will always follow the spaceship and point towards the spaceship. Or in an indirect way, the mouse pointer. If block. If mouse down, that means wherever you click on the screen. Or if the key space is pressed, then we'll go to looks. Switch costume to the second costume. Move minus 10 steps or minus 5, whatever suits you. I did this for a recoiling effect of the shooters. Wait for 0.1 seconds or whatever your FPS may be. Switch costume to costume 1 or the original costume. And of course, move positive 5 steps, that is its original position. So as to create a recoiling effect. Set rotation style to all around. So now we can test this. The spaceship works perfectly fine and as you see, the shooter, when you click anywhere on the screen or when you press the space, it will create a recalling effect or an animation as we just coded it. Now the laser beam, when the flag is clicked, we want it to be hidden until and unless when we click on the screen or the space key. Go to the back layer and hide. Forever loop, always follow the spaceship or the shooter. 
point towards the mouse point. F block. We'll go to operators and take the block over. If mouse down or the key space is pressed, just like we did for the shooter sprite. We need it to create a clone of itself. So create clone of myself. Set the FPS to whatever you like. I'm going to do it for 0 0.07 seconds. So as there is a gap between the new generation of the lasers. When I start as a clone, start a sound. So this could be any sound from the Scratch library or from the internet. Show, repeat until touching edge or in the second part of this tutorial, repeat until touching the enemy sprite or whatever we make it. Move 10 steps and delete this clone. So now we'll code a glow effect. This is just the part of the visual graphics of the spaceship. When the flag is clicked, forever block, go to spaceship and of course point towards the mouse pointer or indirectly the spaceship. Now as I said we'll code the backdrop. When the flag is clicked as I had many costumes in the backdrop to create a scrolling effect, switch costume to the first costume in the series. Forever and inside forever loop next backdrop. Now again the FPS, I'm going to do it for 0.1 seconds. And when the flag is clicked, when the project is started, forever, we wanted to play a background music or a sound, to make the game more engaging and lively for the audience. You can take the sound I have used from the link in the description. So now let's test my code. So, if you found the tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and leave a comment. For more such videos, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Bye, meet you next time.